Miss Alice, uh, aware naman po kayo that you're still under oath. Tama po ba? Uh, yes po, Your Honor. And uh, Chief, please And go. Your Honor, um, I cannot uh, disclose too much because I have uh, eight pending cases po at the court din po. Okay. And um, alam mo ba yung mga, na, may mga statements kayo na nasabi niyo dati sa mga previous hearings in both the Quadcom and the Senate na naging na, 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 tuklasan na kasinungalingan? Tama po ba? Uh, anong pong statement po, Your Honor? Well, the, the nationality, your nationality, your parents, and the like. Tama po ba? Uh, hindi po, Your Honor. Okay. Pero now that we're here and almost closing on this na rin, willing ka ba na magsalita ng katotohanan sa Quadcom na ito? Uh, Your Honor, ano pong question po? Willing po ba kayo na magsalita ng katotohanan sa Quadcom na ito? Now uh, na patapos na itong lahat. Opo, Your Honor, um, I have pending cases po at the court. Hmm. So, um, anything po na sasabihin ko po dito sa Quadcom might uh, use against me. Hmm. So, okay. opo. Alright, pero even if na alam mo na may alam din yung Ministry of State Security, willing ka rin ba na mag-confess ng katotohanan sa Quadcom na ito? Uh, Your Honor, uh, pa-specify ko po sa ano question po. Yeah. Para I know paano din po ako maka-help po. Okay. Sige. I'd like to uh, direct your attention po sa ating screen. Can we please flash? Kilala mo ba tong si uh, Xie Ji Jiang? Hindi po, Your Honor. Hindi po. Okay. I'd like to put that on the record, Mr. Chair, na hindi po niya kilala the person in question na si Xie Ji Jiang. Um, nung nakarang mga hearings... And I'll, I just, I'll just put this on the sideline lang because I will touch back on this one again, Mr. Chair. Nung nakaraang mga hearings, sinabi niyo po sa Senado and dito sa Congress na ikaw ay Pilipino. Tama po ba? Yes po, Your Honor. And um, sabi niyo din na dito kayo lumaki. Tama po ba? Yes po, Your Honor. Dito kayo ipinanganak. Tama po ba? Uh, yes po, Your Honor. I have my Filipino uh, birth certificate po. And dito din kayo, uh, dito din, uh, Pilipino din yung mga magulang ninyo po. Uh, ang alam ko po, ang nanay ko po ay Filipina po. Okay. And yung tatay mo? Uh, tatay ko po ay Chinese. Okay. Now, well, let's circle back uh, a few years before, more, more recently, yung sa pagtakbo ninyo bilang mayor po. Um, ano ulit yung naging rason ninyo kung bakit kayo gustong or bakit kayo nag na tumakbo bilang mayor ng Bamban? Uh, Your Honor, unang-una uh, po... Um, Short, ano siya lang? Yes na? po. Uh, tatlo po kasi yung, ano ko po, yung sagot ko po dyan. Hmm. Isa, po, isa po sa tatlo ay childhood dream ko po. Hmm. Pangalo, pangalawa po, uh, sa bamban po ko lumaki, gusto ko somehow uh, makapag-share din po ng kung anong pong meron ako. Gusto ko rin po natulungan yung mga kababayan ko po. Hmm. Pangatlo po, um, tinulungan din po ako ng former mayor din po namin sa town para sa kampanya din po. Okay. And uh, saan kayo kumuha ng pondo para tumakbo bilang mayor? Uh, Your Honor, um, 37,000 po ang aming voters. Uh, hindi po ganong kalaki. So, saan lang kayo kumuha ng pondo? Kasi uh, kailangan ng pondo, di ba? Para magkapanya. Oh, so saan kayo kumuha ng pondo? Uh, Your Honor, uh, kumuha po ako ng pondo sa negosyo ko po. Okay. And ditong negosyo is? Uh, Your Honor, lahat po ng negosyo ko po, uh, sinampan po nila ng AMLAC. So I invoke my right against self-incrimination po pagdating po sa business po. Okay. Um, can we uh, share, uh, show the next uh, slide? Gusto ko lang pakita. So, confirm niyo po, Miss Alice, na kayo po ito sa likod po ng uh, Ford F-150 and yan si Kasi na nakasakay din na, na ng Can-Am. Uh, ano ba yan? Riker Sport 900? Uh, Your Honor, hindi po yan campaign. Yan po ah, ay town fiesta po namin. Ah, town fiesta lang. Apo. Okay, okay. So, very interesting. Kasi from what I remember, kasi ako mahilig ako sa kotse, pero yung kotse ko is a 2003 Camry. And uh, medyo may kamahalan din yung mga, yung mga nakikita natin dito sa pictures. But sige na lang. So this was a fiesta naman din and very festive. Pero kayong dalawa yung nasa picture, tama po ba? Uh, yes po, Your Honor. Okay. So you deny, uh, lahat ng mga funding na nakuha mo for your campaign, sariling, uh, galing sa sarili nyo, sa businesses? Uh, yes po, galing po sa sarili po lahat, Your Honor. Okay. Now, you didn't ask for any funding from any Chinese person, Filipino? Never po. Okay, sige. Filipinos po, may mga friends po na tumulong in kind, pero finances po, wala po. Okay, sige. Now, Mr. Chair, if you would allow me, I'd like to show a video to everyone. Um, this is from Al Jazeera. And if, if I may, Mr. Chair, also request humbly that this may not be taken out of my time as this is very uh, revealing also in nature, if it's okay, Mr. Chair. Certainly. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Al Mario, the better Al Mario. <laughs> Anyways, uh, please, come can you please play the video? 我接受了很多这个中国朋友和一代人的这个经历啊，一些事情呢，很多对高层的未来有关系，我为什么中国一定会遭到灭口啊？Wang Fu Gui met Sher in prison and says he witnessed an attempted attack on him. 六七十个泰国人对我们十多个中国人进行那个无差别的袭击。
。为什么知道是针对蛇之江先生呢？是因为这些泰国人相互说话当中，就是有在找蛇之江，那个时间是他律师会见的时间，然后所以说躲避了这次袭击。Thai prison authorities did not respond to our request for comment. Wang spent five years in jail battling charges related to credit card fraud before being found not guilty. He says he became good friends with Sher when they were placed in the same cell. He's now the custodian of many of the tycoon's alleged secrets. He has left behind a lot of confidential documents. He has left behind a lot of confidential documents. He has left behind a lot of confidential documents. He has left behind a lot of confidential documents. He has left behind a lot of confidential documents. Former fugitive and embattled ex-mayor of a small town in the Philippines. Now in police custody, Hoare is being investigated for alleged ties to scam operations and money laundering. He's also accused of being a Chinese spy. Xia <laughs> says Hoare once asked him to help fund her political campaign. <laughs> Guo has repeatedly insisted she was born in the Philippines, a prerequisite for office holders in the country. But Cher's dossier lists China as her place of birth. Guo had previously claimed she's the daughter of a Filipino woman. But according to this document, her mother is a Chinese citizen called Lin Wenyi. The dossier also lists a family address in China's Fujian province. This is what our researcher finds when he visits. The local office of the Chinese Communist Party. At a nearby village, residents shown photographs of Guo recognize her as the daughter of Lin Wenyi, the same name that appears in Shi's dossier. They say Guo was born here and only moved away towards the end of 2002. Shi says he has a message for the former mayor. Guo, you, 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 曾经都为这个国安部卖命，你看看我的下场。呃，要想不被灭口了，就把真相呢也告诉全世界。<笑> China's Ministry of State Security did not respond to our request for comment. Neither did Alice Guo Huaping. So, Mr. Chair, I'd like to point out to this committee that even if we have been making our own researches, uh, pulling up our own inquiries, this is another source from a completely different party. And is unrelated to what we do. Pero nagkataon that the person by the the person named the Shea Kailun, who si Shea Zijang trusted with the encrypted files, showed to Al Jazeera that there is a dossier confirming that there are Chinese spies all over, at least in this case Myanmar, but here also in the Philippines, and undoubtedly shows Go Huaping. In the picture, where she was born, even her mother, and the name of Lin Wenyi. Mr. Chair, again, we were told, kanina nagtanong tayo kung lumaki ba si Ma'am Alice dito sa Pilipinas, kung dito ba siya ipinanganak, kung Pilipino ba yung mga magulang niya. niya. She first said na dito daw siya lumaki, which is false. Because paano malalaman or ma-identify ng mga tao doon mismo sa address sa Fujian, na nakilala nila si Alice Guo o Guo Huaping as anak ni Lin Wenyi nung pinakita nila yung picture ni Guo Huaping sa kanila. Number two, tinanong natin kung saan ba siya ipinanganak. E eh, nakita na nga, dun mismo. She, was, she left daw late of 2002, sabi pa ng mga tao na in-interview ng Al Jazeera doon mismo sa Fujian. And might I take note, I might take note, Mr. Chair, na sa video, nung pinuntahan nila yung address na, 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 na nakalagay sa dossier, sa encrypted dossier, is a local, uh, local office ng uh, uh, Communist Party of China. So, Mr. Chair, I think this in itself is, it speaks volumes na. No? Um, again, nakakainis na time and time again, dinideny ni Go Huaping lahat ng mga questions na tinatanong namin sa kanya. Okay, again, let me ask. Go Huaping, kilala mo ba si Xie Zijiang? Yes or no? Your Honor, yung Xie Zijiang na sinasabi niyo po, yun po ba yung pinakita niyo po kanina sa akin sa picture? Correct. Hindi ko po siya kilala. At sana po, Your Honor, Mr. Chair, makuha ko rin po yung details. Gusto ko po magdemanda. Hindi ko po sila kilala. Hindi natin madidemanda 
Miss Alice, dahil kasi he's in jail in, in Thailand. And the reason why he's speaking the truth now is because, as he was saying that then in the video, although hindi lang pinakita dito, is that he is also being illegally detained daw, sabi niya, kaya sa, sa, sa galit niya, he wants to speak also the truth out to the world, na iniipit na rin siya ng Chinese Ministry of State and Security. So, what does he have to lose? That's why nga sinabi nga niya sa inyo, Miss Go Huaping, na tell the truth. Don't fall to the same mistakes that he has done. Kasi nga, he also fears for your life. Remember, nung Senate hearing, na you mentioned na you didn't want to name names because you feared for your life. And because of that, the Senate granted you security and asylum within the PNP's compound. Ngayon, na nag-executive session na kayo, sabi ng, P ng Senate na there was nothing to go about except for one name na hindi pa din namin alam. But if we look at it, there is no doubt Kitang-kita na. Hindi na galing mismo dito sa Quadcom, pero in an international company that tries, whose job is to search for the truth worldwide. So, Mr. Chair, I'd like to submit this video. Na, this is confirmation that what we've been trying to unearth here, marami na din dyan na nakikita din, that corroborates not from us, but from other parties as well. Which also means that this Quadcom should also be the avenue for which other people should also go to us to reveal more of the truth kasi kailangan din natin yung kompletong katotohanan. Which is why this is, another, this is an open call to action, Mr. Chair. Sa lahat ng mga nanonood ng Quad Committee meetings natin, na kung may alam kayo, lalo na nakakatulong ito sa pagtingin, sa pagkuha ng katotohanan, please come forward. Kasi this is national security also at stake. She's been denying na may kilala siya, na ultimo, sinasabi niya na ilang beses na siya, siya, siya tinawagan para humingi ng campaign funds. Kung hindi niya alam yun, or if he was saying, kung hindi niya, if it wasn't even in the same timeline, then he wouldn't have said that. Di ba? Timing. Elections natin, doon din siya, tumakbo din siya, humingi siya ng tulong, it all adds up, it all lines up. So Mr. Chair, I'd like to submit this video for, uh, to the committee, and I hope na people really try it this time, na mas marami pa will come forward to speak truth to this matter. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Congressman Almario.